So Xcode is the key. And we've got a new Xcode today to give you Xcode 2.1 that's got some fun new features in it. As you know, Xcode's a very robust development environment. But the most important new feature, the giant new feature, is when you go to build your app, you get this little sheet that pops down. I'll blow it up for you here. What do you want to build for? PowerPC and Intel. And you check this box, OK, and you're going to build what's called a universal binary. That's a binary that's going to contain all the bits that run on both architectures. And so the loader for each one loads the right set of bits and goes. One binary works on both PowerPC and Intel architecture. So you can ship one CD that supports both processors. And again, so let's go back. Making an Intel version. Now, again, this is nothing like carbonization. This is a lot easier. And I want to focus on one app right here, a carbon app written in Xcode. This is a developer I've known for a long time. I gave him a call uh, Wednesday night, this last Wednesday night. And I said, we got something really secret we're working on, and I can't tell you what it is. But I want you to put all your source code on a hard disk and fly out here, and let's see what we can do. And uh, it was nip and tuck there for a few minutes, but they trusted us enough to do that. And that company was Wolfram Research, and that app was not a small app. That app was Mathematica. And it is my pleasure right now to introduce Teo Gray, the co-founder of Wolfram Research, to tell us what happened in the last five days. Teo, welcome. I get the most ridiculous phone calls from Apple sometimes. Um, I mean, this was like 9 o'clock at night, and he's calling. He said, oh, I have this great thing, and it's great, and could you port Mathematica? And you know, I can't tell you what it is, but could you come out and show people on Monday? Um, <laughs> so I mean, you have to understand. So Mathematica has inside it probably the world's largest collection of algorithms. It supports all kinds of programming styles, uh, data formats of all sorts. Um, it's built with you know, millions of lines of C code. We've got Java code. We've got you know, the most modern C++ template stuffy widget things. And you know, we've, got, uh, we've got ancient code that hasn't been changed since like the Reagan administration, um, some of which I might have written. Um, this, is, this is not a little toy app. This is a beast. A uh, lot to port. But you know, not to worry, because he said, well, there's this, this little checkbox, and you click the little checkbox, and we'll be fine. You know, it'll be great. Um, so I said, oh, OK. Uh, I'll, I'll send out you know, our, our crack team of, of emergency Macintosh developers that we keep on standby. That would be Rob. Um, <laughs> You know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what he can do. So we put him on a plane. You know, he gets there Thursday afternoon. Of course, I can't actually tell him why he's going. But he showed up, and they showed him the checkbox. And he clicked the little checkbox. And two hours later, he had a copy of Mathematica running on Intel. Two hours. So. Uh, for those of you that have been through a carbon port, OS 10 kind of port, this is nothing like that. I mean, we're talking about 20 lines of source code out of millions from a dead cold start where he doesn't even know why he's showing up at Apple <laughs> in two hours to have a, a working version. Uh, it's, let's take a look. Um, actually, so I mean, I should say in fairness that there is an awful lot of software engineering uh, built into Mathematica to make this kind of thing possible. There's Rob. There's help from Apple. You know, your mileage may vary. But um, from where I stand, you know, it's, it's pretty good when like, your biggest problem with a port is figuring out what to do with the rest of the weekend. Um, so let's take a look here. Now, of course, the most amazing thing is just that it comes up you know, at launch. Um, now, Mathematica and, 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 and the Macintosh are used by people at the forefront of their fields, you know, people who want to push the limits and do things that haven't been done before, like that, for example, if you scroll back. Uh, those two lines there, you haven't seen that before. Um, 
And in the spirit of pushing the limits, we thought that rather than do something boring, you know, like port a working version that we knew was stable, uh, we thought we'd go ahead and port the current internal development version of Mathematica, which is full of all kinds of, you know, exciting new technologies that actually I can't show you. Um, <laughs> but, but I can show you a couple of the interactive things we've been working on. So, oh, that's nice, you know, and now we know OpenGL works. Um, but let me show you something that you probably haven't seen. Um, okay, thanks, thanks for the demo, Rob. Um, I'd like to. Uh, <laughs> so I'd like to, to thank Steve for you know inviting us out to once again sort of push the limits. Together with Apple, we certainly hope that we will have a universal universal binary shipping once there's machines out there to to ship it to. Uh, and I'd particularly like to thank the uh, Apple engineering team for freeing up my weekend. Thank you very much. <laughs>